Hi everyone, I'm Chastity. Welcome back to another Modify Monday. Today I'm going to show you six ways to modify Paschimottanasana, otherwise known as seated forward fold. Before I give you the modifications, I want to help you set up Paschimottanasana in the correct way. First, you want to straighten your legs out in front of you, wiggle side to side, make sure you can feel your sits bones underneath you. It's an inhale to lift your arms up and an exhale to fold over. Now you don't want to grab your toes here because if you grab your toes, only the big toe side of your foot is flexing. We grab the pinky side edges of our feet because we're trying to train our entire foot to flex here. In this pose, you don't want to round over right away. You actually want to take a few breaths with a long spine, thinking heart to toes. This gives you a more isometric stretch instead of a passive stretch. First modification is to grab a blanket, maybe a few blankets, and you want to have some bolsters nearby or just some regular pillows. You're going to sit down on your blankets to help elevate your hips. You're going to slide your bolster underneath your knees. This also gives you a little bit extra support here. Again, flex your feet, inhale, lift your arms up, and exhale, fold over, grabbing the pinky side edges of your feet. And you can see here that I start off with a long spine instead of rounding over immediately. This helps to lengthen your lower back and also gives you a little bit of rest on those hamstrings because oftentimes in a seated forward fold, it's not because our hamstrings are tight, it's actually because our lower back is tight. So this is a great variation that you can take. Next up, you wanna grab a couple of blocks and have your blanket. So we're still sitting on our blanket here. Flex your feet, legs are straight, and you actually use the blocks for a little extra lift. Inhale the arms up, exhale fold over, and your hands or forearms or elbows will land on the blocks. Now this also depends on how flexible you are. You can have the blocks on the tall setting, medium setting, or the low setting. You can also scoot the blocks closer to you so they're more in line with your knees. And again, you can have them on the tall setting, medium setting, or even the low setting. All right, the third modification here is simply just to bend your knees and grab the pinky side edges of your feet. Now here, it's a little tougher to try to keep that long spine, but just think heart to toes as much as you can. And if you want to round over, you can rest your forehead in between your knees. Next up, simple here, just cross your forearms and rest your forehead down on your arms, on your knees. Nice and restorative version here. All right, the fifth modification is to grab a strap. If you don't have a strap, that's okay. You can grab a rolled up towel or a rolled up t-shirt or even a belt, and you place your strap around the soles of your feet. Now you can do this with your legs straight or with your legs bent here. This is a really good modification if you're really tight in your hamstrings or your lower back. All right, last modification here, same thing with that strap, except this time you're gonna slide your bolster back underneath your knees. This is a little bit more of a restorative version, but you're still doing a lot of work here. All right, my friends, those are six modifications for Paschimottanasana. I hope that you enjoyed this video. For more information on how to get any yoga props at a nice little discount, or for more information on how to modify different poses or make yoga more accessible and comfortable for you, please head to chastityramsey.com. And as always, choose kindness and stay groovy. Namaste.